Today on Business Success in Six with Stacy, I have Trina Wentland here from Brunch in Cedarburg, Wisconsin. Trina, thanks for jumping on with me today. Thanks for having me. It is my pleasure. If you don't mind, I'd love to ask you six questions about your business that is going to be open up in a few months. Is that okay? Yeah, of course. Awesome. Here we go. When people ask you what brunch does, how do you describe your business that's going to be opening? Um, well, it is a full service breakfast restaurant. Um, we have a lot of traditional items, but then other items with flair, you know, different kinds of eggs benedict. And we do a pancake of the month. So just really like new items that you wouldn't generally see at a breakfast place. So just more unique, I would say. Um, and yeah, we just really love the bright and cheery atmosphere. And so, you know, we hope you come in and check it out. And we also have a rooftop, which is going to be great for this summer. And we really are super excited to be part of the Cedarburg community and we can't wait to open. Looking forward to having you. Cedarburg is definitely in need of more wonderful breakfast places and it's right downtown. So that is so exciting. So this is a question that I normally ask business owners. What were your plans when you started your business and how have they changed? But you're in this like to your phase of starting your business to almost opening it. So could you tell our viewers about that process that you've been going through opening a business? Sure. It's, it's been a long process. Um, I want to say the conversation first came up about opening brunch almost two years ago. And then of course it was finding the right location. So it was looking at existing restaurant buildings or possibly building a brand new space. Um, so that was a process and just obviously all the details and things like that. And, you know, once we came across this location and the plans were all ready to have a restaurant built in the space, I mean, it couldn't be more perfect. We had always wanted to be in Cedarburg, but I'm sure as you know, there's not a lot of buildings that are for rent and really Mm. aren't much areas for new real estate. So when we came across this location, it was just, it couldn't be more perfect. Absolutely. Yeah. And that location is right downtown and you are building it from scratch, so to speak. Right. So yeah. that's, a, that's a lot of choices to make as a business owner, the location, how you're going to dress everything up. Um, can you share a little bit more? There is another brunch. How, how are you related with another brunch? Sure. Um, there are two other brunches. Um, one of our really good friends, she owns the other two locations. So it was just one of those things where she wanted to expand her brand. And we just love the business model, love the food and just the whole atmosphere of it. And that's kind of where it started. That's so great. And, you know, this is something that we talk about with our clients and our community a lot that, you know, systems that work should keep happening. So if there's a, if a brand or a model or a system in business that is working, I mean, there's always room for improvement, but why would you change something if it's successful? So congratulations to you for recognizing that and expanding. Thank you. It's my pleasure. So what is the biggest way that you impact the community or would like to impact Cedarburg as you move in? Um, I mean, I love that we can you know, have opportunity for jobs for the community, um, whether it's someone who already has that restaurant experience that's looking for a new place to grow or, you know, someone who is in high school. It's really great that we have that variety kind of a position for everyone. Um, and I just love being very involved in the community. The Cedarburg Chamber of Commerce has been so welcoming and just, you know, participating in a lot of the local fundraisers. You know, I, you know, love to be involved and donate a gift card or, or that sort of thing. So it's just been really great. I just really want to get involved in the community and, you know, meet as many people as I can. Absolutely. I have a feeling a lot of students are going to be there as well. I know I have a 19 year old son that loves breakfast food. So you'll definitely get to know a lot of the community quickly. So yes. what's one challenge that you have faced so far that other business owners could learn from as they're opening up businesses? Um, maybe not necessarily learn from, I'm sure they would all agree that hiring is probably one of the biggest challenges. Mm -hmm. Um, as far as advice, I would just say, you know, not to get discouraged. Um, I definitely was at first, I never thought so many people would stand me up 
you know, just not show up, but you know, there have been some really great people who have shown up and it's just, it takes patience, you know, obviously don't give up, just keep trying to find those team members who can really make your business great and it will all be worth it. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing that. It is interesting how many people just don't show up and, and good yeah. for you because then you don't have to deal with those people that don't show up. You get the ones that do. So yes, exactly. And they always say the saying how they're always on their best behavior when you first meet them. And so, you know, if they're not showing up well, you know, that's your answer right there. If you don't want someone like that on your team. Absolutely. So what does the future look like to you? And do you have an exit plan? Do you have plans, you know, beyond just this? Tell me a little bit more about what the future looks like. Um, you know, we definitely like to do, I guess, more within brunch. I know a lot of people have said to us, oh, it's such a shame. You won't be open at night and things like that. And of course, right now the brunch brand is not open past three o'clock, but I know we have a great location with the rooftop. So we would like to expand. I wouldn't say offer breakfast food at night, but you know, we've got the rooftop bar and, you know, as far as like the great space, maybe renting it out, maybe doing live music. So I guess that's kind of what we have as thoughts of how we can expand. Um, and, you know, seeing how everything goes, probably not necessarily soon, but we have talked about, you know, maybe opening another brunch. Mm, absolutely. I love that you're already thinking before this one's open. You're already thinking ahead. So smart. Great entrepreneurs do that. So all subjects open. What inspires you most? I think just, you know, it's crazy to think that I'll have my own team, mm -hmm. you know, of people that I can lead. So, you know, that really inspires me um, just to be able to, you know, teach them new things and like be there for them and mentor them. Um, just with my experience, obviously I've had, I've had managers before. And mm -hmm. so things like I've learned from where I'm like, okay, I definitely don't want to do that. Or I really <laughs> want to do this differently. Um, and just also just sh like proof to people that, you know, as a woman owned business that, you know, I can do this and, you know, other women or even younger ones can really look up to that. So inspiring. Thank you so much for taking time to share brunch with us today. Now, if somebody wants to get that sneak peek of when it's going to be open, I know you have a soft launch planned and a, a ribbon cutting and whatnot. What's the best way for them to find out information as we get closer to the open date? Sure. So we do have a Facebook page as well as an Instagram page. Um, on Facebook, it's just Brunch Cedarburg. And if you type that in um, on Instagram, you can find us as well. I know I like to post pictures and videos. Um, just today, I was at the building checking out the progress. Um, our kitchen is looking more like a kitchen. So I have a video out there um, showing that. So yeah, that's definitely the best way to see updates. And, you know, I post pictures of food and things like that. So awesome. yeah. Well, thank you so much, Trina, for your time today. And I cannot wait to brunch it up. Good luck with everything. And we'll see you in Cedarburg. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Bye.